The Virginia Creeper Trail is an old railroad that has been converted into a trail mostly used by bicycles. The trail runs from Abington, Virginia, through Damascus, Virginia, and up the mountain to White Top Station. Most people drive to the halfway point in Damascus and rent a bicycle with a shuttle ride to the highest point of the trail at White Top Station. The 16 mile trip back to town is mostly downhill, full of awesome scenery, and takes minimal effort, which makes it popular for all ages. Our timing was pretty good this year. We caught the weather just right around 70 degrees, and the leaves were just starting to change color. There are several trestles along the trail, mostly made of wood. When the railroad was being built in the early 1900s, the bridges were more practical made from wood rather than iron or steel because the timbers were easily acquired from the surrounding hillsides. The ride back to town can take as little as two to three hours, but with all the scenery and places to stop and explore, it can easily take four to five hours like it did us on this trip. The Green Cove Station is a popular stop along the trail. It was once a post office, a general store, and a telegraph office. Nowadays, it's run by the U.S. Forest Service as a visitor and education center for the Creeper Trail. We stopped by the Green Cove Collective Store and was really surprised at how much cool stuff was in this small store. You will find hot chocolate, coffee, gloves, socks, and hats to warm you up, as well as snacks and souvenirs, just to name a few. There are a few places you can stop along the trail for refreshments and snacks, including a small cafe with indoor and outdoor seating. The Creeper Trail intersects one of my favorite hiking trails at a couple spots along the way, the Appalachian Trail. This beautiful section of the Appalachian Trail must surely be one that the through hiker won't soon forget. After dropping down quite a bit in elevation, we followed alongside a trout stream for much of the way. The trail allows access to the stream for people like me who love to fly fish. As we get closer to town, the trail starts leveling off some more, and I notice there's a little more pedaling involved and a little less coasting. We had such a great time and can't wait to go back. I highly recommend this if you're interested or in the area. I'm sure you're going to have just as much fun as we did. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one.